Hi guys, Ryu here with another video for Blender. In this one, we're gonna talk about mirror flipping and symmetry. So I've got this cube going on in here. I'm just gonna drop a cavity really quickly and also enable screencast keys. Uh, there you go. And let me show you how this works in vanilla first, okay? So um, I'm going to move this cube somewhere here on the y-axis and I wanna flip it to the other side across, you know, across this x-axis, right? So the way to do this is to press Ctrl M, which in for some reason sometimes doesn't work in Blender as intended. So I'm gonna press spacebar for search, and by default it's F3. You can change it in settings, and click on this. Uh, press on this Ctrl M, okay. And now you can use the middle mouse button to actually change the direction of the flip. But nothing happens really because uh, our pivot point is set to origin point and the origin point is in here. So if I, for example, made some changes to this object, I did it again, okay, and flip it on Y axis. Now you can see that it's actually starting to flip depending on which axis I'm going to press, right? Now, if you wanted to flip it across, we could either move the origin point to this cursor or switch the pivot point to cursor and then uh, if I'm gonna go to mirror and press Y, it's gonna flip it, right? The problem is it disappears on this side, so what are we gonna do about it? Well, you could duplicate it. So Shift D and mirror and flip it, right? On Y axis. Perfect, now we got it flipped, but um, if I'm going to, you know, adjust anything on this object, it's not going to get reflected on this object because these are two separate objects. So the only way to do this actually, let's delete this one, right, will be to duplicate this one. Let me just switch off this box cutter because it gives me grief. Uh, to duplicate this one by uh, pressing Alt D instead of Shift D, which will create an instance of an object, okay? Meaning, now when I actually mirror this to the other side on Y axis, and I will try to adjust, uh, you know, one of these, right? The other one will change as well, which is pretty cool, okay? So that's one of the ways of mirroring stuff across. Another way would be, let's say that you have one object, okay? So let's select everything with A and press Ctrl G to merge them together and Shift S with machine tools and bring cursor uh, um, this origin point to cursor, which is in the middle. Or you could do it in here if you don't have machine tools, right? Machine tools is a free add-on and I have a, a video on how to use this. And the link to machine addons is in the video description, so have a have a look at it. It's very powerful and very useful. I use it all the time, for example, for switching between different modes like you know vertex, uh, solid edge, etc. I don't have to go to this top menu in the Blender and you know dance with the keys. Well, let's say you want to symmetrize something, okay, to the other side. So uh, we're gonna go to edit mode, select like this one, and go to symmetry and symmetrize it to the other side. You can choose which. A direction you want to go to right but it didn't work very well because you see for this to work you need to have everything selected and then press symmetry and Bob's uncle right very um, you know it's a lot of work because uh, it's it's much easier with hard ups but I'll show you later on how to do it anyway so that's that there's another way to do this and it's by using mirror modifier so for example if I create something like this here, and I wanted to flip it to the other side, let me just turn the cavity on so it's you know a bit more visible. And I can always go here and add a modifier, which is going to be a mirror modifier, right? And I can flip it on um, either X, okay, or Y, depending on which axis I want to go for. Let's just delete this. And this is a little bit confusing at first before you actually understand how this works. Now. Blender usually flips from right to left for some weird reason and you cannot just easily invert it You need to use this flip option So if I want to symmetrize it and bisect it across Y axis from left to right I need to flip the mirror to the other side, right? so that's how mirror works in blender, okay, and You know any changes that you're going to make on one side gonna be uh, you know gonna be reflected on the other side, right? There's another important function of mirror that I want to talk about, and that's actually clipping. So if I'm going to bring my object in, object in here, and I'm going to um, flip this one across the cursor. So let's just choose cursor as a you know pivot point again. 
and go to mirror and flip it across Y. Nothing again will happen, but if I'm gonna move my uh, origin point to cursor, you can see that the flip just happened. So um, now if I wanted to uh, extrude this face and you know um, sort of merge them in the middle, you can see the overlapping because there is no clipping being turned on. You need to turn on clipping in here and then G, Y, and they're gonna meet in the middle and will not go across through one another, okay? Then when you apply the mirror, and you have to be in object mode to apply mirror, um, you'll see that you have a symmetrical object, okay? So that's uh, basically the, you know, mirror symmetry and flip in a nutshell in Blender. Now, why you wanna use hard ops is because it's bloody fast and intuitive. First of all, I press Alt X and I can choose which direction I wanna, you know, mirror stuff to, and I'm done, right? If I wanna symmetrize something, right? All I need to do is simply switch my uh, mirror mode to symmetry and I'm done. Or you could do it with D menu, right? Now to reset the mirror very quickly, you press X and you have uh, some other additional options. So if you press tab, you can very easily switch, you know, uh, what you're using as a pivot point. So for example, if I move this box in here somewhere and I wanted to, wanted to flip it through the cursor, it's very easy. All I do is simply switch the cursor and I just flip it, right? It's just easy, you know? And then you have a gizmo in the middle, like an empty, which you can use to simply, you know, do all kinds of funny stuff like this. You can also very quickly stack mirrors because, uh, you know, I have already a mirror going on in here, right? That mirrors from here to the other side. So if I want to add another mirror, I can do it. Uh, by simply going to new mirror and flip it across and I got two mirrors going on. So I got this mirror, right? And I got this mirror. So quite powerful and very fast and intuitive. In, you know, you don't have to think which side to flip to which side, press space bars and search for stuff that doesn't work. So anyway guys, um, that's it for the mirror modifiers. Flipping options and symmetry in Blender. If you want to know more about Mirror in Hard Ops, I can. I think I have like at least two videos on it. So you know, have a look in my channel under under the Hard Ops and Box Cutter playlist, and I'm sure you're gonna find it. That's it from me for this video. Thanks for watching. Links in the video description to Hard Ops Box Cutter and all the add-ons I'm using every day. So if you want to buy them, that's where you find them. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.